I'm Nick Riccardi, a national political reporter for the Associated Press based in Denver, Colorado. And former President Donald Trump just appealed two rulings in Colorado and Maine that he's not eligible to run for president in 2024. He appealed the Colorado decision by that state Supreme Court to the U.S. Supreme Court. And that's the most significant of the two appeals. That means that the question of whether or not a uh, once obscure clause in the 14th Amendment that says if you've engaged in insurrection, you can't hold office. The question of whether that applies to Trump is going to be settled by the U.S. Supreme Court. At the same time, he also appealed a uh, ruling by Maine's Democratic Secretary of State that he can't be on the ballot because of that insurrection clause. He appealed that to Maine's state court system. That's going to kind of go through Maine's state court system, but it's likely that the U.S. Supreme Court will basically settle this question once and for all in Colorado, in Maine, and the other 48 states. The appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court is especially significant because the nation's highest court has never before ruled in a case involving Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. That's a Civil War era provision that says that if you swore an oath to support the Constitution and then engaged in an insurrection, you no longer are qualified for office. been months of litigation over it, and the Colorado Supreme Court was the first court in the nation to rule, yes, it actually does bar Trump from the ballot. That was a 4-3 decision that was handed down on December 19th. A little more than a week later, Maine's Secretary of State uh, basically followed their lead and said, that's right, he can't run for office. I'm not going to put him on the ballot. Now, it's important to note that both in Maine and Colorado, he is still on the ballot. Both of those um entities, both the Colorado Supreme Court and the Maine Secretary of State, stayed their decisions, recognizing that it's the U.S. Supreme Court that's going to have the final word on this. Nobody knows precisely when the Supreme Court is going to rule. They could do it very quickly or they could wait until the end of their term, theoretically, on June 30th. But whatever they do, it's going to be of enormous consequence. As we've talked about before, a number of the strongest, most vocal proponents of this Section 3 solution to Trump are actually very prominent uh, legal conservatives from the school of what's called originalism, saying that you have to just go by the words of the Constitution. They argue, hey, the plain text of the Constitution says people engage in insurrection like Trump can't hold office again, therefore he's barred. And so that potentially puts some of the court's originalist justices who were appointed by Republicans, including Trump, in a tricky situation. Mm -hmm. 